What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Goddess B. I am back here with another video. I am a day late and I do apologize, but today it is October 9th. I am recording this video, Yom Kippur. I was off. Shout out to whatever that holiday means. No disrespect at all. I seriously mean that. I appreciate all the days off from work. Whether I celebrate the holiday or not, I appreciate it because I am not even trying to be working much longer. But that's neither here nor there. We are here to talk about why you're constipated that's what we're here to talk about you like what what don't worry stay tuned but the first thing i need you to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you are watching this on another social media outlet like facebook or instagram make sure that you are going to youtube and subscribing to my channel so that we can go ahead and just get everything together honey get our mentality together our emotions together our finances together our life together just learn and uplift and build and you know what we're gonna do too we're gonna laugh we're gonna have some fun so make sure that you send me a friend request a friend request, a friend, a friend request on facebook stay tuned because i'm a whole cornball but if you find it funny great like i think that that is just great so without further ado we're gonna jump right into this video it's not even about to be long i swear i promise i promise i promise so people y'all see how dry my edges were <laughs> so people stop being fucking constipated and i'm gonna curse in this video because i curse when i'm passionate so stop being constipated what am i talking about stop being full of fucking shit stop being lazy i went to a class yesterday i'm um, not gonna tell you what the class was about because i just want to continue down that path or whatever but it was some of the things were about financial education and just basically just about life in general about getting unstuck a lot of the times we do things and we want a certain thing in life and we know what we have to do to do it but we still continue to hold on to those bad habits or we still continue to hold on to those bad thoughts or those bad you know um actions or whatever ha like habits yeah habits period so we hold on to those things and so when i tell you to stop being constipated it means to literally like take a fucking laxative like but a laxative for your life do and get rid of all the shit you need to get rid of let that shit come out Un like unclog your fucking self unclog your life if you have a certain goal the first thing you need to do is understand everything is going to take you to do to accomplish that goal okay now you can start out generic general stuff you feel me like for example if you wanted to become a teacher you know that you have to go to school and get a degree then tailor that shit to yourself where are you at in life and what changes do you need to make so that you can reach your goal that you've figured out all the steps you need to do to get there but how do you need to do it how do you customize that to fit your lifestyle your income your family life your other goals your other businesses or your other whatever you have going on like how do you get that in, into your life okay and then once you figure that out it's like this this is how you just fucking do it like i swear to god just do it a lot of times we sit here and we put ourselves in a funk because we know what needs to be done, but we slide our feet with getting it done instead of just doing it. We Even if it's something that's, that is going to hurt us, like it's going to be painful, meaning like, okay, like for example, if you wanted to stop uh, drinking or if you wanted to stop going out and start par stop partying or if you wanted to start saving more money and stop eating out so much, that means that you need to sacrifice time to go grocery shopping to cook the food or you have to have an alternate method you feel me unless somebody else is going to do it for you um and so when i say like it'll be painful for you like you don't want to do it you feel me like you just don't want to do it like you are so stuck in your habit it's so stuck in your freaking subconscious that you just go through the motions of doing it without even stopping to realize and take the time like is this gonna get me where i need to go so stop being fucking constipated stop being full of fucking shit okay if you know that you want something if you actually really, really deep from the inside of your soul, you want it, you yearn for it, then you need to take baby steps, okay, to get where you need to go. Take baby steps until you can take bigger steps. It's about starting somewhere. It's not about how fast you can get it done, but it's at least starting somewhere and taking that first step. The first step is always the hardest. Why? Because it's the first one. Then you know what? After you take the first step, 
you take the second step. And then by the time you at step 10, you looking back on the first step like, wow. And then you know what? You have to reapply that to something else. After you've reached one goal, you gotta you make new goals. And when I say goals in life, I don't want y'all to just keep thinking like financial goals. I'm not always talking about money. These goals in life could be something as simple as I want to have a better relationship with a parent or a sibling or I want to you have an aspiration okay you you want to do something you want to try out for something you want to go rock climbing it could be anything it doesn't have to be something that brings you in money all the time i mean money is great we do we all need money but at the same time too you feel me there are some things in life that are priceless period okay so if you need to take the first step in anything in life the easiest way to do that shit is to motherfucking do it and the last thing I'm going to say, because I'm wrapping this video up. I told you I was going to be short and sweet. Last thing I'm going to just say is another thing, too. People who deal with mental health issues, you have to... Okay, so I want to say this to y'all gently, okay? Because I also have dealt and still deal with, you know, mental health like depression or, you know, anxiety or whatever. And with all of that, it's the key to everything is if you're just doing it, you're not overthinking it. Yes, you think about it. You want to think the thing through and ensure that that's what you, the decision you want to make. But you don't constantly replay it in your mind. Excuse me. Depending on what level of, you know, depression or anxiety or whatever you have, you may need to seek professional help if you're not already doing so. But essentially, people, I want you to understand, like, for real, for real, if you're in a funk, if you're, if something is making you upset, and this is, like, really what fueled this, like, between that class and this week, if something is making you upset, or if you feel yourself in, like, a funk, or you're sad, or you're upset, or whatever, you need to, it's not a good mood, you're anything but happy, okay, you're anything but happy, content, you know, whatever the case is, you need to immediately understand that engaging in in or entertaining whatever the fuck is making you feel that way period like anything even continuously thinking about it even if it's the loss of of, of someone if you constantly just think about the fact that you've lost that person you just constantly think about it just constantly think about the shit constantly how the fuck are you ever gonna feel better how no really how sometimes you have to be a little harsh when you say things but i'm saying it as gently as possible but i have to say it in a way that i that i let you understand how stop being fucking constipated stop being full of shit take a motherfucking x lax get whatever the fuck you need to get out of your system so that you could get back on your journey of greatness it's goddess b thank you for tuning in y'all have a blessed happy spiritual great awesome day i appreciate all my ancestors for all of this knowledge and for being on this earth before me and for the universe for giving me all of these ideas to share with the world i really 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 do and, you know, to the creator for creating me, to everyone who tunes in, to all the feedback that you give me, thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great day.